90% of Christians allow our government to educate their children. We are losing somewhere between 70 and 88% of our children by the end of their freshman year in college. That's the children of evangelicals. Somewhere between 70 and 88% of them have nothing to do with spiritual things by the end of their freshman year in college. Now let me give you the easy answer before we go into a more detailed answer. The easy answer is this. If we continue to send our children to Caesar for their education, we need to stop being surprised when they come home as Romans. Luke chapter 6 and verse 40. A pupil is not above his teacher, but everyone, after he has been fully trained, will be like his teacher. From K through 12, children spend 14,000 seat hours in school. Let me say that again. 14,000 seat hours in school. The average Christian family spends less than 30 minutes per week discussing spiritual matters. Parents who think that a few conversations centered around what did you learn today need to be honest about the usual answer to that question, which is nothing. <laughs> there are three questions that we always get, okay? Number one, every homeschool family knows it is the question of questions. It is, if we have any homeschool families in here, I'm not even gonna say it, what's the question? What about socialization? Yeah, exactly, we get that, you know? And that's the easy one, all right? What about socialization? The other question is, is that legal? And the other question is, where do you get your curriculum? Whoever sees your curriculum. Those are the three questions. Why does everyone ask the exact same three questions? Because everyone's been discipled by the same teacher. And the first question everybody asks is, how can you educate your own children? Why? Why? Because the system wants you to be a slave. I'm a free man. My children are mine, not wards of the state. The government has no jurisdiction over my children. <laughs> 